Wow, that was an experience, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty good actually. I'm glad we did the super train. The only complaint I have, it was very good, it was very comfortable, you know, da 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 da, -da. But it was freezing, it was like yeah. camping. And then this morning they pumped the heating on, so temperature wise, hmm. But the rest was very good, very impressed. Far cry from the sunny beaches of Puglia, isn't we've it? Chill. We've arrived, we left summer, we've arrived in autumn at the Ooh. other side of Italy. Good job we have some jeans. We've only got like one pair of jeans. <laughs> we need the winter clothes. Yeah. We're back at Cave, my favourite coffee shop. Happy place? Very happy. Pistachio creme. I didn't get that last time. time. I'm enjoying the atmosphere. It's really nice in here just to sit, have coffee. It reminds me of Denmark, it's getting ready for Denmark and the cafe culture. It's my favourite thing to do. Hey guys, as you know, we've got a few days in Milan before we head to Denmark. So we're just gonna take you on a, a little bit of a wander, see a couple of the places that we didn't get to see the first time round, um, a couple of places that we can get to eat. This I'm very intrigued about. It's a crepe with some mando inside. Oh, some beef, some of the filling, and that sauce. Good? Yeah, it's not like anything I've ever had before. Mm, that's the thing, it's not Asian, is it? No, oh, fusion, but it's good. They get all of their meat from the butchers next door, and the meat is just so succulent. It's lovely. With the spring onion, bit of coriander, really full of flavor. So just for the record, I'm a huge fan of these dumplings. I think, you think they're a bit pastry, don't you? They're just not, they're not like mandy or gyoza. It's really thick, mm. that's what I don't like about it. Thick. I think the filling more than makes up for it. The it's filling, delicious. that's good, isn't it? When in Chinatown, get a bubble tea. So this is my, my bad Asian confession. I've not had a bubble tea before. So, let's see what it's like. What have we got? Black tea with brown sugar, here we are. Wow, that's gorgeous. Mm. I think that is really freaking good. <laughs> I had to bicycle on the road. <laughs> so we are in a very fancy restaurant. And Dan made me cycle here. So I said, well, I need some wine because I just made it. Like cycling in Milan was beautiful on the bike paths, but then we went off road and there's tram lines and it's so bumpy. So I said, well, we need a drink. So we got here and the guy offered us some sparkling wine, which is absolutely delicious. So yeah, cheers. So last time we were in Milan, we didn't get risotto, but Milan is famous for risotto. So we're gonna get a risotto, which comes in a cheese wheel and We've asked for a side salad. It looked at this a bit strangely, but I felt like we needed something to like balance out the richness. He's pairing a lot of our wine. He seems to be amazing. He's very friendly. Who knows how much he's gonna cost, but after that cycle ride, I don't really care. I just wanna enjoy my dinner. So we'll show you when it arrives. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so my man is literally making our risotto in a massive wheel of parmesan. <laughs> it's some vodka. Oh yeah, Grand Padano. Grand Padano, not parmesan. Come on. So we've got our vodka risotto. He's got his crispy onions, he's excited. And we asked for a mixed salad and it has flowers on it. It's <laughs> exciting. That was an absolute treat. That was so good. We never ever do like the fancy high dining. If you'd just gone for the basic stuff, it wasn't like fancy, but 
the service was fancy. <laughs> well, it didn't help that when we walked in, the gentleman looked down and I thought it was because I was wearing trainers. I thought, oh yeah, no. Yeah, I pointed at his feet and we were like, oh no, we can't get in. But it wasn't that at all. He was, he was just, just saying, mind the step. He was out for the step. <laughs> so Dan like scrubbed his feet on the mat as if like, oh, I have to clean them. And I was like creasing. The guy was finding it so funny. But no, really, really good. Actually quite affordable. The sommelier was amazing. Oh, really good. Uh, really good. Um, so yeah, we very much, very much enjoyed it. So it is our last day in Milan. We fly to Denmark tomorrow. Yeah. Super, super excited. And we are off to... Jolly Bee. Bee. That was one of our favourite yeah. places we went to. Hilarious, but we really liked it. So we're going to go there, get some good food, come back to a hotel and get ready for tomorrow. Jolly Jolly Bee makes me a jolly jolly man. Chicken joy. We are joyful. And now, let's wash it down with a grom. Mmm. Mmm. 